Oh, brother, this guy stinks. How long does cheese last in the fridge before it goes bad? You are asking the wrong person. It's up, madman. I don't need new computer parts for Elden Ring. My diagnostic software lied to me. Wait, hold on. What are your computer specs right now? If you know them. to plug the thing back in you don't have your you don't have your computer plugged in what are you watching my stream on my other computer oh you have two computers I see. Uh, do you at least know what graphics card you have? Uh. How tight is world record? It is literally one second faster than my TV. Video, don't remember the number. Do you think it was it 1060, 1070, 1080, 1080 Ti, 2070, 2060, 2080? I have a 2070. Good old RTX 2070. I'll go plug it in. You don't have to if you don't want to. I was just curious. Because a lot of times, like, diagnostic tests will tell you, like, oh, you need the, the latest and greatest. You really don't. <laughs> PC gaming lets you turn down a bunch of settings. You can run... I mean, you can run some games on fucking potato. <laughs> I have a graphics card from 2008, and it probably runs Counter-Strike Global Offensive better than modern graphics cards do. Yeah, I bought my I bought my 2070 for $450. So, uh, yeah, those got a little bit more expensive. I mean, if I wasn't using it actively, I could have flipped it for about triple profit, but that's fucking ridiculous. I am just going to wait patiently until GPU pro uh, prices drop again. Which will happen either when people start backing out of crypto, which has sort of already begun to happen, by the way. And, uh, hey, between you and me, Twitch chat, um, you know, I'm not gonna judge you or whatever if, you, if you're investing in crypto or whatever. Gotta make money somehow, right? If any of you are holding on to, like, Bitcoin or something, I'd maybe look to sell it kinda soon. These values might start dropping soon if more people back out of it because there was just something really big with uh, Mozilla just backed out of it entirely. And that might be a, a, a domino chain. That's a pretty sizable company backing out of it. If I were me, I wouldn't sell all of it though, obviously, because you always want to hold on to some in case it does skyrocket again. I don't have any investments in crypto though, so... I'm just, I, I just giving y'all a heads up if some of you have it. I don't think you were allowed to talk about this. What? <laughs> Why would I not be allowed to talk about that?
Isn't there a law about allowing not big influence to influence crypto? No. Otherwise, Elon Musk would be in prison. <laughs> what? I don't have any investment in crypto, so. That's the stock market you're thinking of, yeah. I mean, I can't blame Elon, honestly. The dude, the dude's Twitter account literally controls in like multiple economies. Like he can, he can, you know, it's one thing with SpaceX and Tesla stock, but his power over cryptocurrency is crazy. Kind of demonstrates why, uh, <laughs> why having an unregulated currency may not be the best idea. Dude can literally tweet out about Dogecoin and double its value if he wants to. It's kind of wild. Who got custody of syntax error? Oh, God. Oh, man. Elon Musk is almost as bad as Materia Collective. Whoa! Don't insult Elon like that. Yeah, it's kind of wild. He can, like, tweet out and just, like, boost the value of certain cryptocurrencies if he wants to. He's got tons of power with unlimited agency. Spooky. 10-10, not bad. Yeah, the whole cryptocurrency thing is just kind of... I'm not too big on it. I'm not going to be the guy to shame, like, little guys for investing in it, though. Like, like if, like, you or me or somebody, like, some, like, some, like, minimum wage worker invests and gets money off Bitcoin, like, I'm not going to hold that against them. They're just trying to make do in this system. But I, I don't like crypto very much from the onset. And I fucking NFTs suck. I haven't liked cryptocurrencies ever since ESCA downloaded it, or uh, used my graphics card to mine Bitcoin back in 2013. Thank you, ESCA Counter-Strike, for mining Bitcoin on my computer. Watching a 2010 video of a guy ordering Domino's Pizza with 19 Bitcoin. Oh. Oh, poor guy. Oh, that's like, what is that, about $700,000? Oof. <laughs> hey, Blissom. How have you been doing? Hope you've been doing lovely. You have a GeForce, you have an RTX 10, uh, 2080 Ti? Who the hell was telling you you needed to upgrade your computer? What the fuck? That's plenty good enough. That can run everything. A guy bought a pizza or two for 10k Bitcoin. 10k Bitcoin. And a Bitcoin now is about $35,000? $45,000? dollars $40,000 each? Yeah, wow, that's, uh, that's rough, buddy.
That is about 400, yeah, it's 400 million US dollars. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Half a billion on the... Half a billion Canadian dollars? Oh, that's like three American dollars, to be fair. Yeah, that's breaking, Jazzy. We'll know more about that eventually. I don't really like speculating on that kind of stuff. It does, it, it, it's kind of bizarre to me that, like, America sort of just, like, skipped out on the whole bullet train thing. Or, like, maglev trains in general. Like, when most Americans hear of trains, we think of, like, steam engine trains. Like, if you go up to a random kid and ask him to draw a train, they're gonna draw, like, you know, with a triangle front with a little steam stack and a coal box. <laughs> That's what they're gonna draw. They're not gonna draw a maglev train or a... A subway train, or a metro train, or a bullet train, or anything like that. Yeah, there was a point. There was a point in time in which this country was actually leading in rail infrastructure globally. Whoa, Chinese labor, what are you talking about? Hold on. Whoa, 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 relax. I'm gonna eat dinner. Yeah, have a nice one, Hannah. We need a subway system in every city. Well, not every city can have a subway system. Jacksonville can't. It would need to be above ground. It's like the the opening to Schlatt's video on his in his old transport tycoon video. <laughs> you wanna build you wanna build a railroad empire without having your Chinese laborers killed by Native Americans? <laughs> God almighty. <laughs> History's whack, isn't it? <laughs> well you can do it for free with open TTD. <laughs> Actually, I actually played open TTD once, it's fun. Not my favorite Chris Sawyer game. That is still Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, Salamancer, can you repost what you just said? It just escaped my eyes. I wasn't able to read it. Yeah, okay, who the fuck was telling you you needed to upgrade? Hello? Your computer's beefier than mine. <laughs> that's, that's a solid CPU and a really good graphics card. And you have 32 gigabytes of RAM? Like, uh, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> You'll be fine for, like, the next, like... Eight or nine years. <laughs> How many dishes do I have stacked up in my room? None. I don't bring dishes in my room. Yeah, that CPU is about comparable to what I got. I have a uh, I have a Ryzen seven fifty eight hundred X, which is. A little weaker than the i9-10700, but, uh, stronger than the i7-10700, if I remember correctly. At different things. It was better, it was much better at single, uh, thread processing. But, uh, you have a better graphics card than I do. I just have, I have a mere 2070, and you have a 2080 Ti.
Isn't Ryzen bad? You are on outdated information. The Ryzen chips for current generation are, are actually better. They're cost effective and actually run most things, especially games, better than their uh, Intel counterparts nowadays. Which is a bizarre thing to say. Like, it is very odd that AMD won the chip war this generation. That's just weird. <laughs> we have, like... We have lived in a world in which Intel was always the premier option for computer processors. For, like, ever. But now they're being beaten, beaten in price point to, to AMD. AMD was always, like, the cheaper option, right? Whereas AMD, well, Intel was the better premium option. But now... The Ryzen chips are just comparable to the Intel chips. And they're better price points, too. And even better in a lot of cases. Like, like uh, a lot of games run better on uh, the Ryzen chips now. The only Intel chip that really keeps up is the i9-10700K. Uh, the i7-10700K uh, also is pretty damn good. But I upgraded from an i7... I, I want to say I had the... Yeah, I had an i7, then an upgraded to this. Well, Red, when you're building a PC, optimally you want to try to not spend as much money as you possibly can. No, the thing that, the thing I feel like a lot of novice computer building guides do not tell you about is how important it is to optimize your RAM. That's the thing I'm looking to upgrade in my computer. Because currently I'm running on 16 gigabytes of RAM, but they only run, they're only clocked at 3000 megahertz. And I could potentially overclock them, but I, eh, not too, I don't usually like doing that. Because I don't like system instability. And... Ideally, I'd get something running at like 3600, which would better sync with the, uh, the chip I have. A lot of novice computer building guides do not tell you the importance of, uh, of RAM. They'll sort of tell you, get whatever RAM you want, but you should pay attention to that stuff, it's important. Uh, yeah, right now, getting a pre-built is probably the better option. Uh, I mean, mostly because, uh, building your own is rough right now, because finding a good-priced graphics card is really difficult due to scalping. And, uh, as it turns out, there's plenty of good sites where you can, uh, get pre-built computers. Like, uh, for instance, I know Artesian Builds, uh, they do, uh, pre-built computers. And uh, you can actually get up to $100 off a pre-built computer at artesianbuilds.com using code SHAY at checkout. In case you didn't know that. <laughs> Y'all weren't ready. Yeah, when you overclock things, Iris... There's a lot of software that helps you do it automatically nowadays, which is nice. That didn't used to be a thing, and you used to have to be very knowledgeable to do it. Nowadays, it's a lot easier, but... Ultimately, unless you really, really, really need to overclock it... Like, if you're struggling to run a game... The most you're gonna get is a little bit of a frame rate bump. Trade it off for system instability, unless you really push it. But a lot of times, you're gonna need a kick-ass cooling system to push it to the limit. What should I draw? Draw me! Draw some fan art. Given to the urge to draw your favorite e-boy. And yeah, overclocking... ...is definitely something I only recommend doing if you know what you're doing as well. Even nowadays, even though it's easier now than it used to be, it's still something I'd recommend being knowledgeable about before doing. Most of the time you don't need to do it anyway. Uh, I can introduce system instability. And it can make your system run hotter, which can be an issue. I, uh... 
I had to overclock a system for a while in order to forget it to run uh, Overwatch smoother, which ran me into all sorts of problems, because I was attempting to run Overwatch on a fucking AMD FX 830 chip, which... Woo! That was a mistake. Man, that game crashed a lot because of that. I ultimately just decided to... Just buy a new CPU. <laughs> Which actually required me to do a lot of things because I had to get a new motherboard that supported the different socket. I switched from AMT to Intel there. The performance jump was huge and the stability jump was very significant. It was one off, damn. Ah! What should I upgrade to next? Honestly, what you have is probably good enough for most things. A solid, like, late 8th gen Intel i7 and a, a 1080 Ti will get you a lot of places. You're not going to run, like, the best games at the highest settings, but you'll be able to run pretty much anything. You might have to make some compromises with running some games on lower settings. But that's okay. High settings are overrated anyway. I have always cared more about, uh... I have always cared more about, uh... Uh... Frame rate. Over highest possible graphics quality. In fact, a lot of times I run older games on low settings. Like, I don't run TF2 at the highest settings. I run to maximize stability and frame rate. I play Counter-Strike in 4-3 stretched. <laughs> but that one, that one's less about graphics and more about preference, actually. That's just... That's just me preferring how the game looks in 4-3 stretched. Well, not so much how it looks, but how it plays. I'm just so used to it, I couldn't switch at this point. So much muscle memory. Well, Legends RC is st still does have a couple of FPS issues, but it's pretty solid for the most part. I mean, my thing with Legends Arceus is that it could be better. Like, there are games that run at a smoother frame rate that look much better than that game. It, it's still not to where it needs to be yet. And I think it's a valid criticism, because it shows that, you know, they're a little, still really behind on th their 3D engines. I mean, at this point, we should we should have a Pokemon game that looks a little bit better than a, like a, a Wii game. Like Odyssey runs on the Switch, and that game not only runs at 60 FPS but looks significantly better than Pokemon Legends Arceus. <laughs> I mean, they got games like Metroid Dread and Xenoblade Chronicles 2 on the Switch. The fact that Dread runs at solid 60 even in handheld mode is disgusting, by the way. I don't know how they did that. It is wild how, like, good that game looks even in handheld mode. Things in the distance have bad frame rate. That's the thing a lot of games do. Is that they will, uh, the, the frame rate of objects in the background will be worse. Because it's typically not as noticeable. In order to save on performance. However, in a game like that, it is kind of noticeable. Yo, Gaster! Damn. 
You'll have the milk eventually, right, chat? Copium? Three FPS Gyarados is my spirit animal, so true. I mean, Pokemon running at bad frame rates is not a new thing. Ever since they gone 3D, the games have run at bad frame rates. Are really just uh, Pokemon games running suboptimally for the hardware they're on is not very uncommon. I'd say like honestly, the only Pokemon games that I feel like perform really well. Like consistently just feel smooth as butter are, are Gen 5 and Gen 3. Gen 4 is disgustingly grossly slow, and Gen 1 and Gen 2 are riddled with all sorts of problems. And those are just the 2D games. X and Y have frame rate problems up the wazoo. Sun and Moon are better, but still have the same kind of frame rate issues. Sword and Shield. Oh boy. And Legends Arceus has got its stuff going on. Yeah, Sword and Shield certainly, uh, they, they run, that's for sure. Gen 5, meanwhile, is just like, look at these animations! <laughs> Pokemon Brick Bronze, that's a fan game. I feel like Gen 5's engine was created as like almost like a kind of response to Gen 4's engine being so slow. Because Gen 5's engine, I mean, it is so quick. Everything is super snappy. Attack animations are super fast. HP goes down super quickly. Transitions are at an all-time low. The text goes quickly. Like, everything is just really fast. Gen 5 power creep. Oh, God. Yeah, power creep definitely was crazy. Not really what I was talking about, but yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, Gen 5 has some serious power creep. I'd argue not as much as it's following generations, though. 6 and 7 had some nasty power creep in them. Especially 7. Goodness. Yeah, black and white just feel really satisfying to play, which is nice. I mean, later Gen 4 games still play fine. Like, Platinum and Heart Gold and Soul Silver are just fine. They're a little slow, but they did speed a lot of things up. Well, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, got, I gotta be particular with this because there are some people who are like, No, actually, they didn't speed anything up. Yeah, they did. The transitions are way quicker. There was uh, a lot of janky lag in Diamond and Pearl, like, between things happening that just caused lots of slowdown for no particular reason. Like certain things like Pokemon coming out of their balls or starting an attack or the space between an attack and the response were all just really slow for some reason. Do you have any tips for beating Undyne on Pacifist? Get some healing items, they help. Good lord, chat. Pokeballs. They come out of their Pokeballs. Good Christ. Get your head out of the gutter. I just appreciate when games are quick. I like fast games. 
I don't like dull games. Games that are boring. Those are my least favorite type of games. Sonic Labyrinth? Oh god. Yeah, that one's pretty miserable to play. It doesn't make me, like, violently angry or anything, but it uh, definitely isn't very fun. Sonic 1. So, fun fact, I never had Sonic 1 on the Genesis growing up. I had played all the other classic Sonic games on the Genesis, at least at some point or another, like Sonic 2, Sonic & Knuckles, Sonic 3, but I never played Sonic 1 on the Genesis. The very first version of Sonic 1 I got to play was a certain port of it for the Game Boy Advance. That was my first exposure to Sonic 1. There is a reason I did not like that game. If I've tried to go back and play that fucking port now, I think I'd get motion sick. And I don't even get motion sick. But yeah, that was my very first version of Sonic 1. Sonic Genesis. So I have some stories with that game, for sure. Favorite Genesis Sonic game? Sonic 3. The full thing. I don't consider Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles to be separate games. Because they're best enjoyed together. And good god, is that a good game. Sonic 2 is really fun to go back to and play, though. I just don't like... I don't like how Sonic 2 ends very much. I don't like the last couple of levels. Metropolis Zone stinks, and... Wing Fortress Zone is kind of like, ah. <laughs> You fucking bitch. You just couldn't give me a good waterfall, could you? Couldn't let it happen, game, could you? can never beat Sonic 2 without Knuckles. It's harder with Knuckles, though. The final boss with Knuckles is rough. Because he doesn't jump as high. Never really liked playing as Knuckles that much, honestly. The, the shorter jump is what does me in. I always prefer playing as Sonic in those. No, actually, my most preferred version of Knuckles to play as is the adventure games. Because in those games, in a 3D space, the ability to glide is significantly cooler. And I think my favorite thing about the way he handles in those games is that he's not slow. He's like, he's still very fast. The control just feels really good. The actual levels, eh. But the control, very good. I think SA2 has bad hunting. I think some of SA2's hunting levels aren't very good. I like the early ones. I think Aquatic Mine fucking blows. And I really don't like the space levels. Death Chamber sucks too. All the other ones are fine though. Never had any issues with Wild Canyon or Dry Lagoon or Security Hall or Pumpkin Hill or... Any of those. Headquarters is fun. Ah, the Goo Lagoon. 
Death Chamber fucking sucks, though. <laughs> actually, it's kind of funny, right? Because the multiplayer version of Death Chamber is actually really good. I don't know why the single player version of it sucks. Because <laughs> they segment the level using, like, transitions with digging, which really sucks. Because it makes the radar not as good. Hey Shay, what's with the remix? Well, as it turns out... Yo Charm, thank you for the tier 2 for 2 months. And good luck on your flight, I hope everything goes well. Try to get some sleep, okay? Enjoy your frogs for another month, thank you so much. I think the differences in the radar are fine. Honestly, I used to be of the mindset that I like the, the the first game's ones more, but I feel like it depends on how the levels are designed. Like, I feel like it'd almost be overwhelming in a smaller stage to have all of them on at once, but... I... I, I like how the game feels like... SA2 feels like the only one that's really built with the ranking system in mind, like, the whole way through. Like, it constantly rewards you for memorizing the levels and executing things properly by giving you higher scores. It's the only one where I feel like that's really meaningful. Like, getting S ranks in other games, you just go fast, or you get do a bunch of things along the way, but SA2, you have to go out of your way to do very specific things, and I like that. I think it keeps things interesting and fun for replay reasons. What's with the remix? Well, as it turns out, Materia Collective uh, hates me, so remix it is. Yeah, I like the I like SA2 Treasure Hunting. Just some of the levels kind of suck. Meteor Herd is way too fucking big, and Mad Space sucks. Oh my god, I hate that level. Bro, Mad Space fucking blows. <laughs> Yo, we are... You're dead set with PB? That's funny. Why didn't Asgore absorb the souls? He doesn't want to. It was almost code green. It's too, too good to be true. Dells. Azor doesn't absorb the or absorb the souls because he doesn't want to. He's never wanted to. What's the name of the whale from Mega Man X5? Duff McWhalen! <laughs> Duff McWhalen! <laughs> Asgore only says he wants to absorb the souls because, you know, he declared, you know, he was upset that his kids died. So he said, okay, fuck it. Declaring war on humanity. 
And he was all like, I've got to rile up Monster Kind. I'm going to get the seven souls and we're going to... I'm going to become a god and go take revenge or whatever. He didn't actually want to do that, though. Asgore, you're not you when you're angry. Eat a Snickers. Hey, Wolfle, thanks for the big raid. Appreciate it, bud. How was the, uh, the All Bosses, All Chapters run? Has real had a skill issue? <laughs> Third place got a 130.42. Glitched or glitchless? Glitched, okay. Damn, you beat my glitchless PB and glitched. Crazy. Yo, Shattuck with the gift sub to. <laughs> I hate you. Yo, Shattuck, thank you for the gift sub to Brigida is balanced. Bastard. I had to say it out loud. I can't believe it. They're right. No, they're not. <laughs> well, maybe now. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't. I don't really play Overwatch anymore, so. No idea. I know they had to nerf her about 10 fucking times, though. You know who's balanced? A healthy breakfast. So true. Bussy boppin. True. Here we are again. It's always such a pleasure. Remember when you tried to kill me 6,000 times? Oh, how we laughed and laughed. Except I wasn't laughing. Under the circumstances, I've been shockingly nice. Florida real? Yes, I live there, unfortunately. Bitch. Really starting off strong. <laughs> I'm the Joker, baby! <laughs> Bitch! Why so serious? Blah, blah, blah! Bitch. <laughs> what is this? Stop skill checking me, please. Why are you doing this to me? Ah, deep breaths, chat. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to play literally perfect for fucking six encounters in a row. 
Good lord. Ah, uh, they're going! What's up, Evan? Hope you're doing well. Yo, Zombo, I'm glad you enjoy. Holy fuck! Well, I need another triple in the next three encounters. Hey, God. Wanna help out? I'm asking for divine intervention. I've never asked for anything in my whole life. <laughs> just this once. Can I get a triple? Please. Come on, man. Just this once. Ah! Please. <gasps> oh my fucking god. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, god. Pause. Pause. Okay, relax, 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 relax. <laughs> I still need to play well. <sighs> need to hit these quads. Okay, that was rough. Let's fucking go, dude. Yes. I'm keeping the fucking pan on. Yes, dude. Let's fucking go, dude. No whips. Two triples, one single. <sighs> okay, it's just sands. Not a 103 chat, but that's okay. Let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, let's fucking do this shit.
Yo, Duckboy, thanks for the 420 bits. Hey chat, hold off on any TTS stuff until Sans is do done, please. If I can request that. I know you all want to donate money, but... Let's wait just a moment. <laughs> The fucking zero whiff core, dude. The fucking zero whiff core, dude. Oh man, that's good. <laughs> I don't even give a shit about Materia Collective. <laughs> Fuck them. 
That I, I already know this is getting copyright strike. I don't give a shit. I'll fight it. <laughs> They're on their way. This is more important. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Yo, Thompson, thank you for the $92. Holy shit. Okay, I need to make sure- I, Our hands are off the fucking keyboard when he fall, when he does sleep. Until he falls asleep. Yo, Eve, thank you for the 19 Thank you for the 500 bits. Fuck you, lesbian, with the five gift subs. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yo, Shammy Wolf with the five gift subs. Freezer with 13 months as well. Thank you. Yo, Emma Volita with the five as well. Pleb with the one gift sub too. Hands are off the fucking keyboard. Hands are off the fucking keyboard. I'm nope. Dude, literally amazing. Less three. Don't care. I will lose a second here if it means I don't accidentally wake him up. <laughs> Hands are off the keyboard, chat. <sighs> I 
I'm not risking a fucking finger shake costing me record. Nope. <laughs> no shot. I will proudly take my three seconds of time loss and get my 10409. Yo, Fixie with the five gift subs as well. Thank you. Oh! What? Poor Stealth with the 100 gift subs? Bro! Hello? I love you motherfuckers. Catechist with the five gift subs as well, thank you. Free. I'm free, Chad. I didn't get it due to some crazy ruins luck or some bullshit luck or whatever. I got it off my own fucking skill, baby. Off my own fucking skill and a very well timed triple in core and my own fucking skill. Zero fucking whips. I got skill checked six times and I didn't miss a single fucking one of them. Not a single fucking one of them, chat. Ugh. Let's fucking go, dude. Yo, taco guy with a prime for two as well. We're finally here, chat. We're finally landing. It's the history of Undertale world record for <laughs> speed runs. Wait, what was my name, chat? Was I Z on this run? Was this Z? Did the TGH luck come through? Let's go, the TGH luck came through, chat. Z is blessed. The legend of Z, the best genocide runner of all time. playing this category. I have been playing this category every day for over a month and I finally fucking got it, man. Oh, I gotta clip this to put it on YouTube, right? 
So make sure to smash that fucking subscribe button, baby. What are you doing? Click it. Click the fucking subscribe button. Do it.